Dan here. Time for another episode of First Bite. We are at La Marche Jean Talon here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I hope that I said that right. Je suis désolé. Mon français est une merde totale. Let's go take a look and see if we can find anything interesting to eat. bacon and cheddar sausage from Balkani, Montreal. Um, fortunately, they take credit cards. I'm seeing a lot of these stands here at the market do not. So I'm going to have to either get some cash or find some stands that take credit cards. Anyway, let's review the sausage here. Got a little hot sauce, some gourmet mustard on there, a little sauerkraut. That's a top tier sausage. Let me go 8.1 on the sausage. Talking and chewing at the same time, hard me. But the market closes at five. I've got less than two hours, so I've got to go fast. Let's find something else. Hello at the taco would be a great idea if I hadn't just got back from uh, Mexico City. So uh, we'll skip that today. Next we're going to review Bouf Moi. Because a corn dog with maple mustard in Canada is so cliche, you just have to do it. Oh, hey. Don't mind if I do. We've got a maple lemonade. Tart. Tart. 8.2 lemonade. Tart. Super tart, which is how I like it. The maple's not overpowering, which is good. We've got a corn dog here with like a maple mustard kind of thing. From what I was told, a little cornichon on top. By the way, Stephanie, that's not le pickle. It's not a baby pickle. It's a cornichon. There's a difference. Corn dog is good, mustard's not. But I like honey mustard on a corn dog. The batter could be sweeter. I like corn dogs as a sweet and savory kind of thing. Sweet batter, honey mustard. That's definitely the more savory. I call that a 7.4 corn dog. Really good just not my personal wheelhouse the way I like corn dogs. Let's see if we can find one more thing. Sold out automatic 0.0, .0 score for sandwiches. It's not their fault. Glad they're doing good business, but can't eat there so you get a zero. Sorry. It's funny to see the phrase General So's chicken written in Francais. So and Wow. Last up, we're going to review Lumi. And we're not just going to get Pekin. We're going to get the Pekin Lumi. I love the little grilled cheese man logo. That is absolutely fantastic. Waiting on our Pekin Lumi. All right, market's winding down for the day. Last up on the list, we're reviewing Yumi. We're reviewing our poutine halloumi. It's not the same cheese with the curds. It's got a different kind of cheese on it, the girl said. Got some green onions, got some Aleppo pepper on it. Yumi halloumi, um, poutine halloumi, I don't, I don't know. Okay, it's not poutine not the regular cheese curd, so it's automatically not poutine. I mean, they call it poutine, but it's not poutine. The cheese is different. The texture is similar, but it tastes different. It's good, but it's not poutine. It's halloumi poutine. Well, the cheese is different. The cheese is a thousand percent different. I don't know when I became a poutine expert. I've been here in Montreal for like four days. Apparently, I know everything there is to know about poutine now. The truth of the matter is, it's actually pretty good but the cheese is different. It's not poutine in the traditional poutine sense. 7.6. It's good. I like it. It's 
not poutine. What do you want me to say? I'd still recommend trying it. Okay, so that's it. We are done here today from Le Marche Jean Talon. It was a great day of walking around and people watching and eating good food. But it's time to go. Market's closing. So with that, merci et au revoir.